Hey guys, it's Alex, and today I want to show you how to change the driving characteristics for your adaptive cruise control. So I get questions on this all the time, and and it's about uh, whenever you're whenever you have your cruise control set, say at 70 miles an hour going down the highway, there's a car in front of you uh, that causes your car to slow down because of the adaptive uh, cruise, the automatic braking. Um, so maybe you're going 50 or 60 and whenever that car gets out of the way or speeds back up your car will speed back up as well back to that 70 miles an hour that you previously set now some people don't like whenever the car just it feels like the throttle increases drastically and it it makes you feel like you're you're pushed back in your seat and kind of scares you it's not that fast but you can change your driving characteristics to actually slow that down and i'm going to show you how to do that today on the Subaru Outback and on the Subaru Forester. Now, the Outback is gonna be the exact same as the Legacy, and the Forester is gonna be uh, comparable to all of the other Subaru models that are out there because of the two different infotainments. So, whenever you are in your Subaru Outback or your Legacy, it's really simple. You can navigate to your driving characteristics by simply clicking this little car icon and it's going to be one of the first options here so you'll see it right here cruise control acceleration characteristics it's on level three as a standard but say you want it to um, so you want it to speed up more quickly you can hit dynamic uh, or if you want it to be slower you can do comfort or eco so uh, so that is how you change your driving characteristics in the outback and next i'm going to show you here in the uh, the forester so in the Subaru Forester, the, uh, changing the cruise control characteristics is a little bit different. There's a little bit more buttons to it, but it's not over here. It's actually going to be over here. So I'm, go I'm going to show you how that, uh, that works. So over here, it's kind of hidden, but you've got an up arrow, a down arrow, and an I slash set button, or a select button, really. So um, I'm gonna use those to toggle up and down so you can toggle up and down to see different uh, car information. Uh, but you'll get to the screen where it says the uh, pull and hold I slash, I slash set. Um, and whenever you do that, so you pull and hold, it'll bring you to a, a menu screen where you can go through and you can actually adjust different settings. So we are going to find the, uh, the eyesight. So that controls the to eyesight cameras up here, which in turn can allow you to adjust things like your, your cruise control characteristics. So I'm gonna uh, click that set button and we can go in here. We don't want lead vehicle acquisition sound or we don't wanna adjust that right now. Um, we don't wanna adjust that. So we want to adjust the cruise control acceleration characteristics. So again, click It'll bring us to the, this is the same options that we just saw in the Outback. So it's set at level three as a standard. Uh, if you want it to um, be more comfortable, more gradual uh, acceleration after your um, car tries to speed back up from the um, uh, cruise control, you can go to level two or level one, or you can even go to level four if you want it to speed up. I'm gonna keep it as a standard and that's how you set it. You just click and uh, click and hold uh, set. And then to get back out of this menu, you just click uh, the up and down arrows till you get to this go back. And you click the set button. Same here. You can click the I uh, slash set button. Now, if you change one of these settings in here, because there's a lot of different menu options. If you change one of these settings and you, you don't like what you've uh, set, then go to number seven which is default settings you click that and you can click yes to uh you click yes to change that to default i'm not going to change this because it's already at default settings um, or you can just click the go down arrow to then click set and go back so it's pretty easy once you get used to these keys to toggle through the menu but it's a little bit different because you're actually using analog keys and not the touch screen like you would on the Outbacks. So I hope that helps answer your questions about how to adjust your adaptive cruise control. 
And if you have more questions, then please leave them down in the comment section below. Don't forget to smash the like button if you got value out of today's video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.